What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James, RedoptionAgency.com. 22 years selling full-time on eBay. We are at Thursday. There she is. <laughs> Why'd you get off the bed? <laughs> All right, what's going on? So we're going to talk about... Um, we're going to talk about um, a test that Amy and Dan are doing, the hustle couple. And where I think the test may be flawed theory. So we'll go into that and we may little do a little run a little test on here on this channel um, to kind of coincide with their test to see if my flawed theory plays into it any at all. But um, we'll get into that. But first, what the hell is wrong with eBay today? Eleven hours, two sales overnight. So you understand why other resellers are trying to figure out this algorithm, trying to figure out, you know, trying to do their part because you want to take some responsibility, or you know, you just can't sit around and do nothing. We know that the site is a mess. We know that search is jacked up. And all that's going to play into my theory. Um, and you know, I'm a lover of experiments because I try them all the time. So I'm very happy to see that and to see where that goes and then add a little to it if I can. So, um, yeah, two sales, 11 hours. Right now I'm at $41 at 923 So... And I'm back down to that 16% down number where it just keeps me month after month, 16 down, 16 down, 16 down. It just keeps driving everything farther down. Um, I, I, I don't get that part of it. I really don't. That part feels 100% controlled. Like every, you, a lot of you guys say, and I'm afraid to go there. They are controlling the exact dollar amount we can make. So how am I 16, 15 to 16 down month over month going into fourth quarter? When I have more items than ever, list consistently, will have new items I list sell immediately, but yet this keeps happening. There's no, there's no logical understanding of it. I mean, I, I not from my small brain anyway, except that it's a controlled issue. Yesterday, I only made it up to 554, which was at least better than the day before. Oops. Let me get into uh, traffic here real quick. See the split. So yesterday, the organic was normal, 15 organic, and the promoted was down. So only 20 promoted sold. And my total impressions were down another couple. Ooh, they've been down the last few days. Another 100 to, 100 to 200,000, wherever they were. With what I'm running percentage-wise and stuff, I was getting 2 million impressions at one time. Now I'm getting eight to 900,000. Today, two items sold, two promoted, zero organic. There's either A, no rhyme or reason to this, or it's beyond comprehension for me. <laughs> because I'm just, I'm not getting it. And it's frustrating. Because it makes me feel like I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. After 22 years, I feel like a total failure. And that sucks.
That sucks. All right. So here's what I want to talk about. And then maybe we'll do a little YouTube stuff before we ship. Because I've got four eBay orders, three Poshmark orders. They're getting closer. <laughs> um, so I feel the biggest change that eBay made that hurt us as sellers was the day they got rid of the bot page views. Maybe I should quote page views also. Um, before they eliminated that, you could, here's what would happen. When you listed an item, Within the first 60 seconds, you had anywhere from four to 10 page views. It varied depending on the item. You had four to 10 page views in the first minute. You could take that item, privately share it to your Facebook page. So nobody sees it but you, nobody could click on it but you. Then all of a sudden your page views jumps from 10 to 25 to 30 to 35 huge jump just for sharing that item without anybody clicking on it then i would share it to a uh and these were tests i would do i would and i would share it to um pinterest and then boom it jumped up another 20 30 page views in like a second and you know nobody there wasn't that many people who clicked on it in that amount of time I could literally take one of my items and have over 100 page views within the first five minutes. That's what you could do with that bot thing that they supposedly ended or how whatever it was. Now, the benefit of that is the page views push that item to the top of the search algorithm to the best, best uh, match. It all of a sudden shot it all the way up. I would do tests. I would take an item. Now, if you're not familiar with what Amy and Dan are doing, make sure you follow their adventures. Go subscribe to their channel. So I was, I went ahead and did one of their things. I didn't watch the whole video because I always get sidetracked or get busy. So, I, But I went ahead and did one of their tests to see where their items were ranking. And then I shared that with them. But within doing that, I realized that system may be flawed because I had to click on the item to make sure it was theirs. So you see where I'm going with this. So they put some that were free shipping, put some that were free returns, different scenarios to see if they showed up higher in the algorithm. Well, when I clicked on it to see if it was, make sure it was theirs, guess what I did? I just boosted it to the algorithm. I don't know if they took into effect that sending people out to look for their stuff and if it gets clicked on, it's going to boost it in the algorithm, which is going to kind of taint, which may taint which group would sell through the best. Because of the theories I'm throwing out here and then the experiments and the playfulness I used to do with my items and the items that I would play with like that, 24 hours later, they were sold. So in my eyes, the most important thing to bump it up in the algorithm is getting people to click on your item and that boosts the, boost it, right? But here's the problem. People can't find your items today on eBay. It goes back to that search issue that's going on. You're, you're searching for car parts, you're getting clothes. Search for Tom Petty cassette, greatest hits or CD, and you have to file through 20 other artists' greatest hits before you find the Tom Petty. Now, every time a search is messed up like that, say you got 20 bad things that have nothing to do with what you're searching, well, that just put 20 sellers who do have what you're looking for 
back in the queue, farther and farther away. So people are not finding the item and they're not clicking on the item. So they're not getting pushed in the algorithm. That's my theory. So what I want to do is today I'm going to go into my store, find something. Today is the 14th. I'm going to go in find something that has zero page views. I'm probably going to stick with something like that I can look up easy, like an adjustable hat of some sort. And I'm going to put it in the link below, in my description below, and I'm going to title it Featured Product of the Day. I want you to go click on it, and that's it. I don't want you to, please don't buy it. Just click on it and then click out. But what I want you to do is type clicked in the comments of this video after you click on it. Here's why. To get my YouTube algorithm working right with all those comments. Thank you. Make sure you like it. Like the video also. No, it will help that. But why I want to do it is because if, say, 20 of you click on it and 20 of you tell me you clicked on it and that zero page views reads 10 clicks, 10 page views, well, something's a little screwy there. If 20 of you clicked on it and it's only showing 10, that's now that's not right. Another situation, if 20 of you click on it and then boom, it all of a sudden has 40 views. Well, guess what? You're clicking on it, put it in front of 20 other people who are not watching the video. So please be honest about it. Click on it, type click. Uh, if you click on it, please type click so I know, so I can keep this as close to uh, the test as I can. And then I want to see if that item sells within 24 hours. That's my test. I'm going to add to it. So I'm not changing nothing about it. I'm not going to end it and relist it. You know, they, they try to clean the slate and then play different levels. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it. It's a buried item. It has zero views halfway through the month. I want to see if I can sell that item in 24 hours. So that's my test. So if you guys could please do that for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll put it below featured featured item of the day. And then I might do it again tomorrow and we can play along for a few days to make sure it's not in a coincidence if it whatever does happen. Uh, we, you know, if, if we can keep it re replicating the same type of scenario, then you get better results for the test as a whole. It ain't just a coincidence or something here and there. So that's what I want to do. So I want to add to their little, their, their experiment. I won't say little because it's a pain in the ass. It takes a lot of time to even think this stuff up, to try to put brain power into figuring eBay out. And literally, I sometimes let that consume my whole day. And that's why I've been trying to get away from it. And cross-listing has kept me away from thinking like that and playing with the YouTube algorithm and these new channels I've got, which are all going to be listed below now. The other channel was the hat channel I started, so it's below. Um, so it's allowing me not to let, it won't, it's not, I'm not being pulled in, trying to figure something out that's clearly broken. So my theory is none of their, my theory is none of their changes are going to matter because people are clicking on their items and that's what's pushing it up in the algorithm and that's what's going to help them sell. Um, I did check theirs last night and they had two within the top three, two within the top five, and it was two and three. Uh, this morning, I they had five in the top 15. So if you're watching this, here's some information for you, you Dan, or Amy. Um, this morning at about probably 9.15-ish a.m., I checked again, and you had about five in the top. It might have been about the top 15, but the thing was they were all sponsored. There was no organic ones, which I found very odd because if people are clicking on them, why ain't some of their organics popping up higher? Because before, I used to get sponsored and organics, you know, up high. And now my organics are completely buried most of the time. And all I'm getting is sponsored up there. And that's what I saw with their items. And I went down through most of the page. And they had, like I said, five in about the top 15. And they were all sponsored. 
might have been a little bit more than 15, maybe 20, to play it safe. But in the very top, where items could be seen and purchased. And then I went down through most of the page and didn't find any of the others. So uh, there's a little feedback for you if you're watching. Um, so that, that's what I want to add to the test. So I don't do free shipping. I do free returns. But I'm going to find an item that's just totally buried that has zero page views. And we're going to see if it sells in 24 hours. So that's what I want to do. All right. Since I got very little to ship here, let's uh, see what you guys are talking about on uh, YouTube and that. But Poshmark, yes, I sold uh, two items. Um, yeah, two of the items were yesterday and then one today that so far. So, and I've only had one day with no sales on Posh. So, we were at $400 almost halfway through the month. So, I don't think I'm going to hit my 1200 goal, let alone my low end of 1000 goal. But we'll see. It could change overnight because. My highest day was 57. I had another at 56. I had another at 47. So it could change into the drop of a hot. Well, you guys have been typing like crazy, haven't you? Wow. You guys are writing paragraphs. Um... Fern Settle 9489 says, I am not sure I want you to change up your videos. My introverted reseller person, persona <clears throat> can so relate to your boring style. <laughs> well, what I mean is just trying to keep you guys engaged with, with a topic as opposed to <clears throat> just standing here doing nothing but looking at a screen. <clears throat> that being said, the video I tried to do that on yesterday, uh, when I checked, had a retention time of 18 minutes, and that's real good for me. So, I don't know if that will tell me here or not, since it's pushed down. I don't know where to find that after my video goes away. <laughs> but, um, so that's what I'm trying to do there. So. Uh, I'm, it, it's not popping up in my feed. I have, so This is Kathy Yeller, 5722. Uh, it's not popping up in my feed. I have to go find you in Saved History. I end up having to wait until I have time to sit and go find them and watch them. It's a pain, really. I only The only way I knew that it was a weekend is because I didn't see any of your videos. Yeah, and I think that was my fault just because when I put out so many videos, then if they're not watched or clicked on, then it just kind of suppresses everything. So that's why I just kind of cut back to the two a day, maybe two a day. I got the main one here. And then I'll probably may do a pooling one at the, you know, toward the end of the day. And then if I do um, like the hat videos I like doing, I went ahead and made a channel for that. And then doing the, the top 10 most expensive video of items sold on eBay doing those on another channel so they don't bring down this channel because apparently they need their own audience because not everybody here wants to watch those. Most people here want to hear let's figure eBay out so we can stop all sucking at it. So that's what this is for me. And then I'm the, thinking maybe on the weekends I you know will do a different style video here and there like new arrivals and go through a an item of some, I don't know, who knows. Or maybe more yard sale videos. Because uh, next weekend, not this Saturday, but next Saturday is the neighborhood sales. So, should have something for you, you then on that end. Yes, eBay is trying to be smarter than the consumer and telling long term successful sellers they don't know what they are doing. They're all on AI. That's that's what it feel like. That we, you know, just overnight, 
we all of a sudden don't know what the hell we're doing. Literally overnight. It's not like a slow progression where, oh, your items are not wanted anymore. No, it's a flip overnight. And then one day it'll flip on. I'll sell 75 items, hit $1,000. Then it flips back off and I sell 30. <laughs> it's, it's, it, there's no rhyme or reason to it right now. Who else's phone chings when someone buys something and then chings again when they pay? Mine does, yes. It didn't used to, but uh, I think, I guess, after one update, several updates ago, it did started doing that. So, yes. I always think I have two sales. My, so, I have four dings usually because I got both phones on. So, I go cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. So, I usually get four. So, for every four, I know I'm probably only got one sale. Do you ever answer any questions? Do you ever watch my videos? What Poshmark? Uh, I don't. I want to get into this one on public because I, from what I understand, uh, I've said it before in past videos. But go, so go watch some of my past videos. But because I don't want to answer that first one. But the second one, do you pay subscription fees for Bonanza or True Gather? I don't know. I never really paid it. I don't remember. It's been so long since I signed up. And if it does, it goes comes straight out of my account or goes straight on my card, and I don't really pay attention. I used to pay six hundred a year for Bonanza for them to promote my items more than they did, but after last year when Bonanza sales dropped so low, I'm just like I'm cutting that off. So, and car parts come up when you're searching for car parts. Oh, when you're not searching for car parts. Okay, I was like, wait, that don't make sense. And car parts come up when you're not searching for car parts. I have not noticed that one yet. Promoted listings need to go, and I'm not saying this because of fees. I have 35,000 and don't promote any of them. I did try just to say I tried, but it didn't help. When promoted listings has done... What promoted listings has done just put a bunch of dumb inflated listings at the top of the search. So even if you find what you're looking for, you're seeing stupid pieces. And then since people raise their prices and the and that's another thing I feel is a problem too, not just the search algorithm, but I believe that the promoted is heavily flawed also. Sometimes, you know, if I go to change it, it'll air out. It'll so I don't feel it works 100% either on top of the search. It, it It's, uh, yeah, it's a mess. Um, eBay stock will be below 40 by the end of the year. Oh, after next quarter, I guarantee you that stock's going to, you're going to see a And I'm hoping that it does so it starts waking the money people up and they start holding people accountable. Because when money people start losing money, then that's when, then they're on your side. They're on our side at that point. The was it the, the friend of my enemy or the, the enemy of my enemy? is my friend <laughs> so right now ebay feels like an enemy of course the stock people feel like enemy so once they're on our side um exactly james you remember the time you could turn on the tv or watch a movie or a tv show and you would see an ebay commercial or hear a reference to eBay on the TV show. It's called advertising, they say. Take Amazon or Walmart, for example. Both are two of the biggest companies on the planet. Everyone knows these two companies. Or you're living under a rock. But even as big as they are, basically saying that they promote. Yeah, and that's true. And eBay has just been falling away for quite some time now. But yeah, not putting them in front of anybody is. 
Ooh. Honestly, it what you're selling. Huh? <laughs> Honestly, it what you're selling. I hate to say it, the app has changed for me. Image so well, you know what? If you're saying it's my items, I mean, you obviously don't pay attention, so I'm not I'm gonna pass it Honestly, I'm guessing you're saying it's what you're selling. So, um, am I getting defensive on that one? No, I'm, I'm getting you don't re, you don't watch, you're not paying attention. So, I, I we can't have a conversation if you're not paying attention to the whole conversation. <laughs> Or they restrict you because a company decides they don't want you to sell an item and hit you with a Vero, even though it has tags from the company. Yeah, the, the uh, counterfeit things has kind of has stopped for me since I changed the uh, my unbranded stuff that was literally unbranded and just put in hat as the brand and it stopped. So. But yeah, somebody's making a comment that if it is brand new, that's where the companies are coming into play. It's telling people that you are not a distributor or, I mean, uh, not a distributor, but a, and a, what's the word? You don't have the permission to sell it because you're not a, a partner of theirs. <coughs> Brick and mortar clearance is tough. Even for the big guys lose money at it. Even the big guys lose money at it. So I was talking about yesterday's video, the bin stores failing. Um, yeah, the big bin stores are gonna fail now just because of there's, there's so much competition which drove up the prices. Um, and cut back the product, like Lindy was saying. And um, that's part of the perfect storm that's going on with eBay right now. Is you know that's why it's so many people are dropping out because only the strong are going to survive. There were so many new people selling on eBay during COVID. There's so many new people who watch all these videos and go and give it a try. But only the strong survive. Only the ones who know what they're doing or can figure it out what they're doing quickly are going to survive. And even I'm not even to this day, I will say that my smalls, my foundation, my bread and butter, my volume is what's saving me right now. If I didn't have that, I would be suffering right now. Thankfully, I've got years of smalls, not just in my store, but in wait, waiting to go up. It's like one of two things are, is working right now. High sell-through rate items and volume. And volume, and I feel both of them has taken a hit. Of course, volume, especially if it's starting to hold, you know, uh, treat stores differently based on their sell-through rate. But also, even if that is what's happening to my store, even my high sell-through items are not selling through at a high rate. So... And then also you take what's going on with the economy. The longer we are in this crap, the more and more it hurts people. And the more and more it starts to hurt more and more people. So it's just a steady decline. There's really not more I can say about any of that. But So I do want to do that test, so please... Follow through on that, if you will. First up, we've got a Minnesota Twins 100% wool sports specialty hat. Headed to Oklahoma. Sold for $22. I 
gorgeous. It just kind of, yeah. With me, it just deflates me thinking about it. But then, uh, and there's shifting over to the cross listing stuff. Takes my attention away from how bad it is and makes me want to believe that it'll come back around eventually. Whether it will or not, I have no idea. We got the Dracula soundtrack on cassette with just the tape. I uh, sold for six bucks, headed to Philadelphia. I need some mailers up here. Dickie CD headed to Minnesota, sold for $23. So at least the two I sold. We're high dollar, and then I've got two more now since then I got so. Okay. Breaking the eBay algorithm. I'm sure that's my good one. Next up, we've got a Sioux City, Iowa Vintage Holiday Inn postcard. This is the, I think the same people on that last one I showed from Hawaii. They were kind of traveling everywhere because I found all of them together. So they were, they went up to Iowa. I think they went to like Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, and then ended up going to Hawaii on this long trip. So if you want to read it, you can pause it and read it. Uh, and uh, this sold for seven dollars. Headed to Maryland, and then also with the Hustle Couple and their store. When I went into their store and looked under Best Match, all the ones that they're doing their test on are all the top ones under Best Match. So you can tell people are clicking on them and push them up in the search in the algorithm and stuff. So. That was another thing I was going to say, because I saw Vern's picture here and his stickers, being so many of you bought one and I haven't ended it and sold similar on that, so it's still holding those sales. That one's always the top of my best match search, because that's what sells the most. If you got volume and you got that volume selling, it's always going to push that listing to the top. So he's always number one on my best match when I go into my store, from my perspective anyway. I don't know why I'm typing it right on this. It's the only one there is, and I'm done. <laughs> but, um... I can't remember what it was five. No, it was eight. 
by six. And it's one, right? No, it's two. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> See, I've, I've been thinking about it too much. I couldn't even sleep last night. I gotta get out of that funk. Get out of the funk. Funk is bad when you're in the funk. You smell like funk. Funk is good when you're feeling the funk. Or you're feeling a little funky. That's why with all the tests that I've ran, I got some posh to do. I, I feel that's the reason I'm not getting any different results is because the machine is broken. We got the, I never knew how to pronounce this, or, or shino, I don't know, farm and home store. I don't know. Anyway, it sold on Posh for eight dollars, but um, and that's that's the frustrating thing thing because you know me what all the experiments and different things I've tried, nothing has changed a damn thing. Like my promoting now is nine percent because. I get the same at 9% that I did at 15%, that I did at 19%, that I did at 20%. I get the same results. So mine says at 9%. Why am I paying eBay more than I have to? If I'm getting the same damn results. But thankfully, I've got other avenues of income. <laughs> now with YouTube, with the Jiro Pack stuff from you guys, and the Vindu affiliates from you guys, all the links are below. The Alberici hat sold for $15. And since right now, you know, my goal is to keep ramping everything up so Jan could start slowing down and here I am had to cut my payroll in half for two at least minimum of two months just to make sure I don't fall behind on anything not bills wise or anything but just costs and you know lock or storage lockers and stuff like that so it doesn't start piling up on a credit card but after dealing with this for two years and if I only have to cut my payroll in half for two months I'm still good <laughs> you know which is thankful so at least I still got a decent payroll you know coming in so 
it just kind of sucks because I feel like I was trying to push so hard into one direction and now I just been had to take two steps back you know but hey maybe one of my other channels will take off and get a whole bunch of people let me look at those real quick see what they did overnight So my sold business is up to 173 subscribers. My last video I just put out yesterday didn't do nothing. I did Nerf blaster guns on that. And it, it got 12 views. <laughs> Before that, I had 57, 94, and 188. This one got 12. So that was a dud. <laughs> um... Then we got Dolly. Dolly's been stuck at 127 subscribers, so she's not taken off. But her last video got 81 views. She's sitting. She's sitting. Her views are pretty. I mean, her, she's doing pretty good for a startup. I mean, 7,000 total views. 53 hours of watch time, 127 subscribers. So she's chugging along. I just haven't put a video out in two days, so I need to come up with something today for her. And then the newest one, the Hat Channel. So the video I put up yesterday has 96 views. I've got 31 subscribers. Somebody says, I'm confused. Where can I buy these hats? I don't see a store name or link. It's in the description. Hi. Thank you. They are, or, sorry, the link is below the video in the description. And description's always a word I misspell. For some reason, I always put an I instead of an E. All right. And the first video got 38. The second one got 92. So I figured putting that a bathing ape hat as my thumbnail, since that's a good name brand item, that might reel in some people. So that channel's total 104 views, 2.5 watch hours, 25 subscribers. It says 31, but it says 25. Uh, anyway, we're chugging along. We'll see where they are in a year from now. <laughs> Just gotta keep them, keep them fed. And next up. We got the Puerto Rico baseball hat sold or er, shirt sold for ten bucks on Posh. We shall see. I th I kind of like that I separated them because it lets me focus on them individually when it comes to thumbnails and stuff like that. I can try different things because if I put them on this channel and I don't put something that catches a reseller's eye as the thumbnail or the title, it's not gonna get any views on this channel. So putting them over there, I can play with them, make them brighter, counter colorful to try to just grab the or, the normal ordinary person. Because when I try that here, it just sinks my channel. So. That's what I kind of learned about the algorithm on YouTube. <laughs> you try to do something other than what your, your channel is based at, it's going to fail. And then it's going to pull the channel down with it. So having the different channels to put the different items on. 
I can market to different people. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll probably suck at it just like I do this channel on eBay. <laughs> and by suck at it, I mean not taking off really a slow pace. Not really sucking, but sucking. If that makes sense. Bum, 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 bum. That looks like it. Quick day today. So it's 10 a.m. and I'm going to the post office. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Later.